What I'm going to look at is uh, how to put the starboard foil together and make sure I use the right screws, the right things, so I can turn this set of goods here into one of these. Make sure I'm well set up, I'm good to go, and I'm not going to damage the foil. So, first thing you're looking at is when you unpack your foil, no matter what setup you get, um, you have your mast, you'll have an option of fuselages, whether you've gone for the, the race fuselage, which is the longest, or you've gone for the, uh, the GT, the ultra slalom fuselage, which is the shortest. And then you'll either have two wings, or you might have a, a, a couple of sets of wings, depending on what you want to do. The most important bit is when you look at your bolt set. Now, whilst you've got some spare bolts, this is the exact number you need right here. Now, you'll notice they come in three different lengths. I've got some really long ones, got some medium sized ones here, there's only three of those, and I've got four short ones. So, what I'm going to need is I'm going to need effectively uh, four long ones for the front wing, three long ones for the mast going into the fuselage. The medium length ones, that's what attaches my back wing to the fuselage. And then these four short ones here, they're the side ones that go into these inserts on the side of the fuselage and into the mast. So what I'm going to start with is just making sure that my bottom of my mast is clean. Um, for today I'm going to select my shorter fuselage, which would be the same for the Ultra, the GT and also the Slalom setup. And I'm going to connect that into there. Just want to make sure that the, the fatter end or the blunter end of the mast is definitely facing forward towards the front of the fuselage. Um, you'll notice that the branding of starboard is, is all at the back here. A um, good way to think about it is the arrow on the orange part of the starboard is, is pointing forward, so that's where I want it to point. Okay, once that's in there, what I'm going to start with, I'm going to pop that down like this for now, and I'm going to start by putting in the three long bolts into the bottom of the fuselage which hold my mast in place. So the longest ones. So I'll pop those in to start with, I'm just going to put it a little bit hand tight to begin with. One, two, and then three. Okay, and I'm just going to use the longer end of my Torx bolt here, just to do that up. And I tend to normally start with the middle one, then do the two outer ones. And don't do them too tight to begin with, just so you don't pull the mask one way in the fuselage. Okay, and once they're in fairly tight, I'll leave them for now, and before I go on the water, I'll just make sure that they're fully tight. Here comes the most important bit, and it's how I'm gonna really take care of my mast and of my fuselage. I'm gonna start by putting the side bolts in. Now to do this, these are the shortest ones that go in. Now one of the reasons to use the shortest ones is I'm looking just to tighten the mast into either side of the fuselage. If I use one of the longer ones, there's a risk I could drag the insert one way or the other, then I'll find it harder to get it apart later on. So when I do these, I'm gonna pop them in. So these are the shortest ones now going in the side. So there's one, there's two. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna do that up really, really loosely, just so it's flush with the side of the fuselage. Okay, and once I've done one side, I'm gonna flip it over. and then I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, again, I'm not going super tight on these because I just wanna make sure that I keep the insert that's in the mast in the middle. Okay, so once I've done them up flush, I can effectively just do one quarter turn on this side. One quarter turn on that side, okay, and that's really tight, that's really good to go now, but actually that's gonna make sure I don't pull either way. That's probably the most important bit to get right of your foil. It just means that insert stays in the middle, and it means you're not gonna have issues when you take it apart. Okay, the rest is really straightforward. So, um, in terms of wings, I'm gonna pick my big front wing, so this is for the lightest possible winds now, so the same on the GT. Um, also use this big front wing on my race setup. So I'm gonna pop that in place. Okay, again, when I do all these things, I always just tend to start in the middle. Okay, and that means that if I have to put it down at all, it's not going to twist around. Get a couple of turns in, just so I know that wing's going to stay in place while I move things out and about. Okay, 
Okay, and now I've got those in place, I can tighten all that. Okay, so I've got that one in, uh, so my front wing's in. Again, I used a four longer one. So effectively, if I think about from the front here, so from the front screw, all the way back to this one, they're all the longest bolts. So I'll get a couple of spare long ones in my set. Effectively, I've got four, five, six, seven really long bolts. And that goes from the front to the middle of the fuselage. The shortest ones are the ones that go into the side points here that hold the mast into the fuselage. And then the mid-length ones, I can turn the fuselage over now. I'm going to put my back wing on. So my back wing, I've gone for my larger back wing, so I've gone for the 330, so that will make this a, a GT setup, even though I've got it on the on the 95 mast for now. Okay, and I'm good to go. Okay, so um, after I've done that, just before I go on the water, I just do a double check and make sure they're all tight. Um, remember again, for the front wing, that's my longest bolts. Um, going in from the bottom of the fuselage into the mast, that's also my longest bolts. Shortest bolts um, in through the side of the fuselage into the mast here, and the mid-length bolts holding the back wing. Most important thing you do is when you put the short bolts in, we're just making sure we put them evenly in either side so we don't pull the inserts either side of the mast. And that means when I undo this now, I'll be able to pull the mast out really easily. Um, each time I do it, I always take my foil apart and put it back in the bag. Um, and that way I can just check for any kind of corrosion or any salt buildup on the rest of it. And I should be good to go. That's it.